Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing how I stream my N64 on Twitch using the Elgato Video Capture. So I use Streamlabs OBS to stream with and I'll be showing you how I connect my N64 to the Elgato Video Capture and how I connect that into my MacBook and how I set everything up in Streamlabs OBS. So this tutorial will also work on a Super Nintendo or any video game console that has the red, yellow, and white cables. I also want to say that this isn't the only way to stream your N64 on Twitch and it's just one way of doing it. Um, it's probably not the best way. Uh, I do have a MacBook Pro which is what I'll be using to stream with and so the quality on the MacBook Pro is not as great as it could be so I just want you to keep that in mind. Um, if you have a PC this is probably going to work a lot better. And if you have a Mac, this will work for you, so don't worry. But I just wanted to put that out there. Um, so yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Here's what you'll need. An Elgato video capture. A dongle that connects the USB to your laptop if you're using a MacBook. A Super Nintendo or an N64. For this tutorial, I'll be using an N64. You'll need a laptop or a PC and a monitor so you can watch your gameplay and have something to stream off of. Here's the dongle I'm using to connect my HDMI cable for my monitor and then it also has two empty USB ports for my microphone and my webcam. So first I'm connecting the Elgato into my dongle so I can connect it into my MacBook. And then I'm connecting the red, yellow, and white cables from the N64 into the corresponding red, yellow, and white cables from the Elgato video capture. And here's my cat Luna who is being very curious about what I'm doing. Once I have everything connected, I'm going to connect the end of the dongle into my MacBook. I open Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to make a new scene. So in this corner down here are the scenes that I already have. So I'm going to make a new one so I can show you how I set everything up for streaming my N64 or Super Nintendo. Once you name your scene, um, in this middle section is where you're going to add your sources. So this is going to be everything that will basically make up your scene. So I'm opening up Elgato Video Capture, which is a software that comes with the video capture itself, and it's free to download on Elgato's website. So when you open up the software, you have to go through a couple of steps before you can see the output, but you don't really have to worry about any of these steps. This is only if you're recording a VHS and you wanna save it to your computer. So this is the, the name that it automatically gives you. So I'm just going to leave it here because it doesn't really make a difference. I turned on my N64. So right now you're probably hearing <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Now we can see the output of the N64, which is awesome. So I'm just going to continue with this aspect ratio. I think this works well for the N64 or Air Super Nintendo. And then I'm just going to click continue. This You can just verify that the audio is coming through. And when you get to this screen, you don't have to click start recording. This is only if you are recording a VHS. Um, if you want, you can record this just if you want to record like the visuals of you playing the game, but it won't record any audio of you like speaking into a microphone or anything like that. So now that we have this, I'm going to drag this into my second monitor and as you can see it's kind of like freaking out a little bit i don't know why it does this um it might be because i have a mac i don't know but it's fine once you um make it bigger right now it's not letting me expand so i'm going to bring this back here and then bring it back and then there we go so once you make it larger the like flickering goes away which is nice so i dragged this onto my monitor and I made it larger. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna come here and add a new source and I'm going to do display capture. And this is great for a primary monitor or a secondary monitor. And so I'm gonna do add source. We can see this here, I already have an existing source, but if you wanted to add a new one, you could do add new source and then you would just find the display. So I'm gonna do number one and then no crop and I'm going to do done. 
So now that we have this, it's a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna drag, hold and drag to make it fit. Okay, so right now you can see my desktop background, which is kind of annoying and I wanna like hide that. To add something that like blocks this, I'm gonna use a software called Adobe XD and it's free to download, which is great. They do have like a paid version, but I would only recommend that if you're a UX designer and you need it for your job. But I would say downloading this for free is really great. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do and it takes a little getting used to if you've never used it before or any other like design software. I would say it's kind of similar to Photoshop except maybe like 1 20th of the things you can do in Photoshop. So it's a very basic. Okay, so to make a basic image that would hide the background, um, I'm gonna go over here and make a new artboard and I'm gonna make the size 800 by 600. And I don't know if this is like the right size that you need to do this but this is just what works for me so i'm gonna go over here on the right and uncheck this fill and this will make this transparent now that i have this as transparent i'm gonna go over here and click this rectangle or you can push the r key on your keyboard and i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and since i want like the right side to be my like webcam chat area i'm gonna draw a rectangle to kind of fit this area it's pretty simple so i'm gonna push r and then you hold and like drag this out to make your shape or you can if you know like what size you want to do you can do that over here so i have this rectangle and i feel like this seems like a good size and what I'm going to do is uncheck this border because I don't want it to have a border. So I renamed this SNES N64 and then you can change this to whatever color you want. I'm just going to do black and with this like color picker you can just choose like any color you want. I'm just going to do black. Um, you could also do like gradients. This thing is really cool. I love Adobe XD and I love using it for Twitch stuff. So. I'm just gonna do black and then I'm going to export it. So if you go to file, you can go to export and then selected and this will just export this selected frame. Um, I mean artboard. <laughs> and then you can change your name and I have a Twitch folder to make things easier. And then I'm gonna save this as a PNG. You could also do JPEG, it's up to you, but I'm just gonna do PNG and then export. Then I'm gonna go to Streamlabs and add a source and I'm gonna add an image and add a new source snes and 64 background so here's what it looks like as you can see most of it is transparent except for this thing and it is smaller than the actual screen so i'm just gonna hold the corner and drag this out until it fits so as you can see the black part is expanding but you can kind of measure out where the screen stops um, so then i'm gonna do that so now that you have your sources set up you want to make sure the display capture is underneath the background you made if it was the other way around you would still see your desktop background which you don't want so just make sure the display capture is at the bottom and then you can go ahead and set up your sources um, however you want you can add an alert box um, any of these widgets or you can add like your webcam or anything like that just make sure that whatever you add is on top of the background and the display capture and yeah that's basically everything you need to set up your n64 or super nintendo to stream on twitch i really hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you guys next time